Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, as a follow up to my guide on Hex Installer from a while back, I thought I'll share with you Samsung users a short tutorial on how you can properly set up Hex Installer to work correctly on your One UI 4 Android 12 phones. So you can once again get these custom themes working on your quick settings panel. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So, when you first open up Hex Installer, you should be welcomed by this ADB theming setup screen. If not, just simply click here on this icon to open it up manually. Now before we even think about creating our own custom hex theme, we need to first make sure that both of these indicators have green ticks next to them. So let's start off at the top with the hex ADB setup. For this, simply tap on the text itself and you'll open up this setup guide. Now here, you'll find a few different methods that you can use to enable it. Either directly on the phone itself, using Windows, Linux and even Mac. So make sure to choose the method right for you. But personally, I prefer to use the Windows option. But the steps for the rest of them would be quite similar. So just tap on the one that you want to use and the phone will start downloading the files for it. Now before we connect our phone to the computer, we want to make sure that we first enable USB debugging. You can find this within your phone's developer options. Just make sure it's toggled on just like I have it. Once done, now let's connect it to our computer and copy over the files that we downloaded earlier within Hex Installer. You'll find it within a folder called Hex. Just extract this zip file anywhere on your computer, but make sure it's somewhere you can easily find it again. Now from these extracted files, the one that we want to run is called hextool.bat, or for Mac users it would be .sh. Now just read the options carefully and press the relevant button. In my case, it's 1. Now just give it a few seconds to run and you should eventually see this green tick within Hex Installer. Now that we have that out the way, the second part of this is to enable the Theme Park theming option. For this, we're simply going to head over to the Galaxy Store and install the Samsung first party app called Theme Park, which in itself allows you to fully customize your phone's look, including the quick access and notification panel. Just make sure to allow it all of the permissions it needs in order to run correctly. Now if you've used this app before, you may find some of your older creations appearing in this list. So if you do, make sure to delete all of them, until your screen looks exactly like this. After which, we're going to hit create. Now just give it a few seconds and then head to the next screen. This is where you can customize the look of your phone using the theme park itself. However, because we're not going to interact with any of this, we're simply going to press the back button. At which point, you should see this previous new tile. So next, we're going to head back into it, but this time, we're going to hit the button in the top right of the screen. Enter the label hex and install it. This will take some time, but just try and have a little patience with it. And by the end, you should have two identical tiles within the theme park app. Now, just simply tap on the second one and hit apply. After which, we want to head back to the Hex Installer, where you'll notice that the second item now also has a green tick next to it. At this point, you can now customize your Hex Installer settings, applying any sort of theme that you want. I'll leave a link for you guys down below for my quick guide on how to use Hex Installer itself. So once you're done with the customization, just simply click build as normal, and once it's complete, let's head back to the Theme Park app. Now here, you should notice that the icon for the second theme pack has changed. It's gone from the default image to one with an explanation mark. 
At this point, your phone should automatically apply the default theme. And once it's done, just simply tap and reapply the hex theme from within the Theme Park app. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.